When our teacher told us about the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow Challenge, she encouraged us to brainstorm and identify a major issue facing our community. I have several friends who experienced abuse in a foster home without any way to ask for help. For various reasons, my friends had no access to cell phones or internet. That's when I decided we need to create a safe and simple way for foster children to contact the police or their case manager in case of an emergency. As we dug a little deeper into the foster care system, we were surprised to discover just how many children were removed from their home. We began researching existing solutions to get a picture of how they brought their concepts into reality. We looked into everything from camping beacons to old phones. We decided on using a basic GPS GSM system and an Arduino platform for messaging. So the first step was figuring out how the programming would work. We started by wiring the GPS and using example code to test it. The GPS worked. We moved on to the GSM, which would use a 2G network to send the pre-typed text message to the program phone number. The biggest problem on the programming side was formatting the text message to contain a Google Maps URL with the coordinates. C++ deals with strings differently than other languages, and after some trial and error and help from a C++ textbook, we figured out how to insert the coordinates into the message. We sent our first successful text message after 24 days of coding, wiring, and troubleshooting. As our prototyping team refined the code, our outreach team interviewed Diane Shun, Executive Director for the Child Advocacy Center of Wichita. We witnessed how social workers, therapists, police investigators, and medical personnel work together to ensure the safety of children. We also received feedback on our device. This tool clearly identifies a need that is already in our community, so I don't believe that there's anything like it, um, and that would be exceptional to be able to have something like this. So when the device is powered on, it starts looking for a GPS signal with a GPS antenna. The microcontroller constantly tries to update its last known location. When the button is pressed, it activates code to format the message to include the child's location and then sends a message to the GSM. The GSM then sends a message to whatever number the button is associated with. Even though area experts approved of our design, the most impressive change happened in us. By solving for tomorrow, we became acutely aware of just how much help foster children are in need of today. Although our device functions as we had planned, we're still far from finished. Our next steps are to design an app for caseworkers to input phone numbers and continuously track the device's location and work with area engineering firms to create custom circuit boards to miniaturize our device as much as possible. If our device saves just one life. One life. One life. It will all be worth it.